So I like to use this machine as more of a hinge rather than a squat. Just based off the way the platform is elevated, how the toes are up more than the heels, it makes it easier to push the hips back, which is essentially what we're going for with the hinge. We're just trying to push the hips as far back as we can and then only go down as far back as the hips will go. So you're not gonna keep going down just for the sake of going down. You're moving your hips back as far as you can and then coming back up. You're not trying to squat it down. There's very little bend in the knee as you go through this, just enough bend in the knee for you to be able to comfortably posteriorly weight shift and push the hips back as, as far as you can. One thing to watch out for on this too that might not be too intuitive is that you wanna make sure you're not rolling on the outsides of your feet as you come down, which you'll see that I'm actually doing a little bit here. So think about pushing the arches of the feet down as you come down, make sure that whole foot stays on the ground and you should feel a good stretch in the hamstrings on the way down here, a good amount of tension in the hamstrings and then finish with the glutes at the top. 